While most of us will be busy looking up today, researchers will also be studying how animals respond to the eclipse. In the past, many have had some pretty weird reactions. Some species get scared. Giraffes, for example, have been seen galloping, which they only tend to do when they are running away from a predator. Other animals, like the Galapagos tort tortoise, are more active, and they've started to mate during past eclipses. A lot of animals, including gorillas, react to the darkness by starting their bedtime routine. And crickets, which are nocturnal, chirped as if they were in the middle of the night. Flamingos also have been known to exhibit nervous behavior during an eclipse. They start to huddle together in fear. For more on this, Jeff Corwin is with us, wildlife biologist, conservationist, and host of the TV's Wildlife Nation. Uh, welcome. Uh, it's a fun day to talk about the eclipse and all that it entails, including animal behavior. Why do our animals act so odd today? Well, that's a great question. When you look at animals, they have specific times of the day when they're active or when they're not active. So you're either diurnal, which means you're active during the daytime, or you're nocturnal, which means you're active at night, or you're crepuscular, which you're, you're active during those twilight hours. It's sort of one or the other, and that's kind of 90% of where most animals fall into line. So when they see that change in their circadian rhythm, when they see that change in their natural life cycle of activity, it kind of, pushes them off till kilter. And is there anything harmful about an event like this for some animals? I mean, if you've got the giraffes, giraffes that are starting to gallop away, anything to prepare them for this? Well, what's interesting is animals have been dealing with eclipses since animals have been on our planet for many, many millions of years. So while there could be some situations where animals might be confused, for example, during the early morning hours is when birds start to move in and during sunset hours are when birds start to uh, to become uh, to their nesting sites. Other animals like insects that are navigating by light time, they could, could get confused and thrown off. But thankfully, it's not a large window of time. We're talking about a couple of hours. So animals are adapted and have evolved to deal with challenges like this. But it could throw them off a little bit. For example, sea turtles will often come up onto beaches to nest. And this is the time when along the, the, the coastline of Florida, we have sea turtles arriving. They may be thrown off a little bit, but it's not necessarily going to uh, affect their survival by nesting a little bit earlier during the day. I'd be more concerned about animals that navigate at night or during the daytime hours being thrown off and, and hitting obstacles, especially flighted animals like bats, birds, and insects. Right. And those animals, the nocturnal animals, will even hunt in this period correct? Absolutely. So again, you're kind of dealing with two things. You have that activity that is uh, stimulated by that changing photo period or darkness. So that's when the bats are coming out and they're using echolocation. They're actually navigating through the nighttime world with sound, which bumps off the, the environment and any obstacles and allows them to find their prey. So it is possible that a few bats may wake up a little bit earlier, but most animals also have that natural cycle in them where they're driven by time, where they're required to have certain periods of time where they're sleeping or resting. So just like a human being that works the night shift, you're going to be sleeping during the day. And even if someone turns the light on or off, it's not necessarily going to change their activity period. Yeah, so many cool things to study about animals and their behavior in this window. We're looking at some dogs. How about household pets, dogs and cats? Do we notice some of the same changes with them? Well, you may see some changes, particularly with cats and uh, with uh, other animals in your home. But cats, uh, thankfully, cats, probably their most favorite thing to do, whether it's daytime or nighttime, is sleeping. So you may not see a huge amount of change amongst your, your, your domesticated animals, but there could be some change. I, I'd be more uh, interested in looking what happens uh, to other sorts of creatures like farm, farm animals, mm -hmm. chickens. Uh, for example, their whole cycle for laying eggs revolves around, around 
periods of light. For example, if you want chickens to lay eggs in the winter, you need to provide artificial light. And of course, that's an evolutionary adaptation because you don't want to be producing eggs and offspring during the winter time. So the longer the day means it's most likely spring and summer, the best time uh, for raising a family. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.